Assistant Secretary General of Bangladesh Jamaat Islami Muhammad Kamaru Zaman and Abdul Qadir Mullah has appeared before the court seeking the bail in two cases of the High Court Bench of Justices Abzal Hussain Ahmed and Muhammad Abdul Hafiz allowed the bail until the bail petition is dissolved. At the Supreme Court is the highest court of the country and given a written order so police cannot arrest them until the bail petition is dissolved. Assistant Secretary General of Bangladesh Jamaat Islami, Muhammad Kamaru Zaman and Abdul Qadir Mullah were both arrested on 13 July from the High Court premises. Just immediately before the arrest, Jamaat leader Kamaru Zaman briefed the journalist and protested the government harassment. If the government arrests us violating the court order and our constitutional rights, that will be entirely illegal and be regarded as a massive suppression against us. They have to face a downfall if they continue this suppression. We are urging the countrymen to come forward, as the government has been harassing and torturing the Jamaat activists and leaders across the country for the last couple of months. We are struggling to establish rule of law, democracy, and social justice. Whatever the torture they carried against us, we will continue this movement. Shamas Protishar Jono. Abang Amadir, Edurno Joto Julumi Kora Hook Nakano, Amadir Nair Shangram, or Bahoto Thagbe. Earlier in the day, around thirty minutes before the arrest, the High Court had asked the government and police not to arrest or harass Kader Mullah or Kamaru Zaman and two other Jamaat leaders until 14 July, the scheduled day set for the hearing on anticipatory bails petition relating to two different cases. <laughs> Barrister Abdul Razak and Khandukar Mahabub Hussain, the lawyer for the Jamaat leaders, informed that the court has already been notified about his client's arrest and had asked him to file a contempt of court petition. In an instant reaction, the Jamaat leader said such false cases against the top Jamaat leaders indicates that government is plotting a conspiracy to eliminate the opposition party. This is why they are intentionally harassing and torturing the Jamaat leaders and activists across the country.